Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Canna Campbell. Today's video is a short but sweet video. I'm going to share with you four great fabulous dupes. These are, I guess, products that I've discovered in my life that have helped me save a lot of money. And because I've been able to save a lot of money, I've been able to proactively transfer that money and put it towards my financial goals and dreams, which as you all know, is investing in long-term growing passive income streams. Now, these dupes are ones I've discovered by accident or just by being a really fussy, mindful, conscious shopper. So I'm really excited about sharing this with you. And I hope by sharing this with you, you can also save a lot of money along the way with my, I guess, savvy shopping hacks. All right, so the first thing I wanna share with you, I would never ever go and buy and I will share with you the dupe. And that is expensive street shoes like these. Don't get me wrong, they're beautiful. I love them, but paying $800 for a pair of white sneakers, I really, really struggle with. I did come very close to buying them probably about two years ago when a girlfriend of mine who had them uh, told me that you could go and customize them and monogram them. And I got really excited and jumped on their website. But then when I realized the price. I was like, snap out of it. What are you thinking? So two great dupes and excuse this because Peppy chewed them, but it's the Lacoste street shoe. They're a court shoe. They're really simple and they're incredibly comfortable. I have been wearing these for, I think about 12, maybe longer years. And you can buy them on sale quite often at the iconic. They regularly actually put them on the sale anywhere between $80 to up to $150. And these last me a couple of years and I take care of them. If I go to the park, I wipe them down with a wet cloth so that they really stay looking nice and white and clean and new for as long as possible. So for me, I can't justify this, but I can justify good quality shoes for around about $120. Now, another great shoe that I have recently discovered, which I'm living in the moment at the same price point is the Nike Air Max 90s. Again, another great street shoe. I wouldn't exercise in this shoe, but again, very similar price point. Again, quite often on sale at the Iconic and also um, obviously Nike sell them as well. Really comfortable. I'm sorry guys, like I would much prefer to put like keep save $700, put $700 towards my investment portfolio and wear these and they're just as comfortable. And I get so many questions about both pairs of shoes. So I've put in the video description box below both of these shoes for you. Dupe number two is expensive jeans. Now these are an example of expensive jeans that I purchased and they are from Frame Denim and I will put in the video description box below. These were really expensive at the time. I really struggled to justify these, but I will admit I live in them and I love them and they're almost like a second skin. However, I want to share with you a great dupe pair, actually a couple of dupe pairs. I got given at a PR event these wedgie straight Levi jeans. Now these retail for about $120. Now these were, they're great, don't get me wrong, but I think I paid at the time with the Australian dollar about $340 or $380. These, which I have in white, which I also live in and are a second skin, are significantly cheaper. And guess what? They also do this jean in this color as well. So if you've been seeing my jeans and wondering where I got them from, go and check out the Levi's first. And I have to say, on that point, spending, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars, even more on a pair of jeans, to me just seems a little bit crazy when there are so many great quality, budget friendly, reasonably priced, high quality de denim brands such as Levi's. So I have linked in the video description box below these jeans as well as these jeans so you can do your own point of comparison. Next up, and by the way, I'm saving the best to last. Next up are diamond earrings. All right. I would never, ever, ever go and buy diamond earrings. I've had diamond earrings in the past and guess what? I lost one or lost both of them. Actually, I lost one first and then lost the other. It was a complete and utter waste of money and I'm really disappointed in myself. Once I realized this to me was a waste of money and I discovered Shush Diamonds, which are Shush Secrets Diamonds, I use these. I keep it really simple. These are, yes, cubic zirconias. They're a cushion cut. I absolutely love them. And even if I had like a spare $20,000 to go and buy some diamond earrings, I wouldn't. 
I would just use these and invest that money for my own financial well-being and independence. So maybe think twice about where you really value your jewelry, where you're happy to use costume jewelry or imitation jewelry, and then make sure that you have a few pieces that you really, really love. But you don't need to spend a fortune on big, crazy, expensive, fancy diamonds. It's simply not necessary. And no one ever asked me about these, to be honest. I'm just being honest with you now that they're actually cubic zirconias and I proudly love them. All right, best to last as promised. Now, this is where I'm gonna show you where I've learned by my own mistake so that you become a better, more savvy shopper. Now, about a year or two years ago, I bought this Burberry trench. I love a Burberry trench. I have my other one, I wear a lot. And that my other one is nine years old. I decided because I lived in it so much, I would get a black one. I'd be, seem fair enough. Now, these are incredibly expensive. It's around about $1,800. Yes, I did pay that. And it, look, it's a great trench. It's very, very classic. A trench is a great investment for your wardrobe if you're really classic, you know, inclined when it comes to styling and wearing your clothes. A, a trench coat will take you throughout the year and you can style it and wear it in a whole range of different ways. But let me share with you an incredible dupe which is literally a fraction of the price. These are the Marks and Spencers jackets. Again, I got given this the other day by their PR team. And the girl said to me, these sell out, they're unbelievable. And I had a little look at it and I'm like, I tried it on, I was like, wow, this is actually, I hate to say this, it's actually nicer than my Burberry one that I paid an absolute fortune for. Yes, it doesn't have, you know, the traditional lining in the inside, but let's be honest, when you're wearing your trench coat, no one sees the lining on the inside. Also, I have to say, this fabric is darker, it's blacker, which I much, much, much prefer. So this has been, it's, the buttons are nicer. I feel like they stand out better with the, the, the sort of, what we call it tortoiseshell buttons. Obviously the buttons at the top, they've got all the same details and they feel exactly the same. And in fact, this fabric's a little bit softer. It's probably not as thick as the Burberry one, but to be honest, I much prefer it. And again, it is a fraction of the price. And what's even better is this actually comes in a whole range of other colors as well, including a very, very pretty light pink, which I'm very tempted to go and buy. Now, as I said, I will go and link in the video description box all four products and all the different dupes and the point of comparison. The reason why I've made this video for you is I wanted to make you aware that I don't always go out and spend a whole pile of money and sometimes I have to learn by mistake. But when you shop mindfully and you look at all the different alternatives and ways that spending your money wisely and savvy, you can actually save a lot of money that you can then proactively put towards your own financial goals and dreams. And that feels really good even better than an amazing, fabulous trench coat. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. It was a fun one, it was a different one. Now, I've got a couple of videos that I'm thinking about making and I would love to get your feedback. I'm thinking of doing an evening skincare routine and a morning skincare routine. And I'm also thinking about doing a sleep routine video. So let me know what you think, whether you like the sound of either of those videos. And of course, if you would like me to share with you more dupes that I discover along the way, that helps save me money. All right, everyone, have a fantastic weekend. Please make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and that bell is switched on. And of course, you're following me on my fun everyday Instagram account at Canna Campbell Official. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Ciao for now. <laughs>